Hello friends. In last video, we have studied that the production of the X-rays and the properties of the X-rays. In this video, we will study the absorption of the X-rays. As the substance inserted in the path of the X-rays, then absorption takes place and the intensity of the transmitted X-rays can be changes. So how this can be produced, we will discuss in this video. As the X-rays passes through the material, then absorption takes place to the some extent and this depends upon the thickness of the material. Means as the substance or material inserted in the path of the X-ray beam, then intensity of the transmitted beam decreases. So from this figure, we will discuss how this intensity of the transmitted beam decreases. This is the figure of absorption of X-rays. We will discuss the parts of the figure. This is the X-ray tube. These two are the slits. The function of the slits is to pass a beam of X-rays. This is the crystal on which X-ray beam is incident. This crystal is kept in climbed position and this is the absorber through which X-rays can be passes. This ionization chamber is having the cylindrical shape. These two ends are sealed and at this end there is a window. The use of this window is to pass the X-rays inside the ionization chamber. In ionization chamber, a gas is enclosed and along the axis of the ionization chamber, there is a metal rod. This metal rod is connected to the electrometer. The outer side of the cylinder and this metal rod connected to the battery to maintain the potential difference. So this battery, electrometer and this metal rod is not shown in the figure. Here as the X-rays goes inside the ionization chamber, then the gas ionizes and amount of ionization produces this can be measured with the help of electrometer connected to the metal rod. Here we will see how this change in the intensity is obtained. As the X-ray passes through the slits incident on the crystal, then this reflected towards the ionization chamber. Here we will discuss two conditions. One is when this absorber is absent, then this reflected beam directly goes inside the ionization chamber through these windows. Then the gas inside the ionization chamber ionizes and the amount of ionization produces. This can be measured with the help of electrometer. Again, in second case, in the path of the X-ray beam, as the absorber is kept, this absorber having the particular thickness, then the as X-rays passes through this absorber, then depending upon the thickness of the absorber, the absorption takes place and the a low intensity beam enters in the ionization chamber. Then again, this gas ionization takes place 
and the electrometer shows the deflection. In this case, the experimental observations shows that when this absorber is present, then electrometer shows the less deflection and when this absorber is absent, then electrometer shows the more deflection. So we can consider the I with the intensity of the beam after passing through the absorber having the thickness dx and second one is the I0 with the intensity of the X-ray beam. Here the decrease in the intensity is observed and this can be written with the help of this equation di is equal to mu into i into dx. This i is the intensity of the beam after passing through the absorber having thickness dx and this mu is the linear absorption coefficient and this depends upon the wavelength of x-rays used and the nature of the absorbing material. If we transfer this i to the left side, then the equation becomes di divided by i is equal to minus mu into dx. If we solve this equation, then this i is equal to i0 e to the power mu into x. Here we can divide and multiply by rho the density of the material then the equation is i is equal to i0 e to the power minus mu divided by rho into rho into x and we can substitute the value mu divided by rho is the mu m and this mu m is called as the mass absorption coefficient where this m is the mass of unit area of the absorbing sheet. Then this equation i is equal to i0 e to the power minus mu m into rho into x. From this theoretical equation, we can see that the mass absorption coefficient mu m varies as the cube of incident wavelength and also the cube of atomic number of the absorber. If we plot the graph between thickness of the material against the transmitted intensity, this is the, the nature of the graph and this graph is an exponential decay indicating the equation i is equal to i0 e to the power minus mu into x. This shows that as thickness of the material increases then the transmitted intensity of the x-rays goes on decreases. From this video we have studied that as x-rays passes through the material or a specimen, then the transmitted intensity changes and this change in the intensity of the transmitted x-rays depends upon the thickness of the material. In next video, we will study the low edge experiment. Thank you.